down to the station not many years ago did something that i'll never do again i got down on my knees and delivered up the keys to frank and his brother jesse james oh, jesse, was jesse james outlaw hero when school children come here, I always ask them that question. Were they heroes or were they bad guys? And most of the children think they were heroes and a few think they were both. Born for his life, the children, they were brave. Jesse himself seems to have had no doubts about the matter. In a letter to the Kansas City Times on October 15, 1872, writing under a pseudonym, he stated, Some editors call us thieves, but we are not thieves. We are bold robbers. I am proud of the name, for Alexander the Great was a bold robber, and Julius Caesar, and Napoleon Bonaparte. Adding significantly that he and his companions robbed the rich to give to the poor. To which the editor of the Kansas City Times, John Newman Edward, added that Jesse and his gang were men who might have sat with Arthur at the round table, ridden attorney with Sir Lancelot, or worn the colors of Guinevere. Like Arthur, as he passed into legend, claims were made that Jesse had not died, at least not at the time recorded. This was despite a cast of his skull being made with the bullet hole clearly displayed, with his corpse having been put on display and photographed, and with what remains of the casket still in existence in the Pate Museum at St. Joseph's today. At Jesse's home that now adjoins the museum, the hole in Jesse James's last dwelling where the bullet is supposed to have lodged after passing through the outlaw's head has been chiseled away by treasure hunters. <laughs> 